and welcome to the brand new series of Running Wild. We'll be covering Paradise Wildlife Park and all it has to offer. I'm Megan Sims and during this series we'll be covering the animal stories and the people that make this place such an exciting place to visit. Coming up on today's show... Friend, the armadillos. Mambo here is from the southeast states of America, where they're most commonly found. They also have very bizarre nicknames. One of them, in fact, is the turtle rabbit. The turtle part is for their hard outer shell, and the rabbit part is just because they're very shy. Hello, and I'm here with Steve, who's the zookeeper for the armadillos. So how do you tell the difference between a girl and a boy? Um, well, because of their shapes, uh, male armadillos have quite big genitals, they've got quite long penises, because obviously they're quite round, the penis would need to actually go round and underneath and hook into the female, so that's the obvious, easiest way to tell them apart. What kind of food do they eat? Um, they're classified as an insectivore, um, so they, primarily their diet would consist of insects, um, which they're designed to hunt, however they would eat um, any dead animals they can find, um, or fruits or vegetables that are dropped on the floor, they'll really eat anything they can get there teeth and hands into. So you wouldn't really chase after anything? Uh, mainly bugs if he was going to chase. They've got um, a series of hairs that are very sensitive, so uh, when he's walking along, if he feels vibrations, he'll stop, stick his nose into the ground, he can sniff for about eight inches of soil, and then he'll use his um, really strong claws here to uh, dig through the ground really quickly to find his bugs, but he wouldn't actually like hunt down an animal specifically. Oh, cool. So how much would they roughly eat? Um, it depends on what kind of food he's getting. We try and vary his diet as much as possible. So in captivity, like he'll get um, about three eggs a week, um, probably about a few hundred grams of chicken, and then a mixture of kind of fruits and vegetables. So they eat fairly a bit still. Yeah, quite a lot of food. People will be surprised, um, but they're quite high energy animals. They're quite active, so they do burn a lot of calories just by running around and digging. opening as Paradise Wildlife Park in 1986, the creative viewing platforms and experiences that allow you to get really close to the animals have made this one of the most popular days out in the UK. There are two species of camel the one-humped Arabian camel and the two-humped Bactrian camel. In the park, they have two of the two-humped variety kind, but the characteristics are very similar. The humps are used for storing energy and fat. They can survive several days without drinking or eating because of this massive hump. This is what makes them so useful as a desert animal. They also have very soft feet, which are adapted for walking on hot, soft sand. They also have very long eyelashes that protect their eyes from sandstorms. They seem very happy that we're all here watching them today. Behind me is what some people may term as a house loft horrors, whilst others would keep some of the creatures as pets or companions. Whatever your opinion is, the exhibit here is fascinating. Most reptiles are commonly found in tropical places, but how are they kept in a country with such random weather? 
Well, the reptiles at the park are kept in very warm conditions to keep them happy and very healthy. Reptiles need tropical conditions. The parks provide this for all of them using heat lamps, plenty of humid atmosphere in the enclosures. Many people consider these animals as dangerous, but not all of them are, and most of them would actually try to avoid you, not eat you in the wild. Well, the reptiles in the park are kept in very warm conditions to keep them happy and very healthy. Reptiles need tropical conditions. The park provides this for all of them, using heat lamps and plenty of humid atmosphere in the enclosures. Many people consider these animals dangerous, but not all of them are, and most of them would actually try to avoid you, not eat you, in the wild. While snakes such as this python here enjoy living in the dark, I think we'll move back outside to something a bit more lively. Today with the Kun Kun Pig, the only species of pig at the Paradise Wildlife Park. The Kun Kun Pig was originally named by the New Zealand people because they were fat and round. Alongside their weight, they are between 24 and 30 inches high, with the weight of approximately 130 pounds. As everybody expects, pigs snort. The duration of it is only medium small and doesn't continue. To identify a Kun Kun Pig, they're covered in hair. They also come in various colours, the black, brown, spotted, even cream. We all know the fox species. They're the ones stealing rubbish from your bins at night. But the coty fox is much more different. It's a more social animal, especially compared to the other foxes. And they have to be with such big families. They're much more different from humans. We usually only have one baby at a time, but foxes give birth between two and six foxes every time. They usually mate in the winter months, between January and March, in order to give birth like many animals in the spring, when food is more plentiful to be able to feed their young. are the largest cats in the big cat family. Unlike lions who live in groups or prides, tigers are generally solitary in the wild, only ever meeting other tigers to breed. Tigers are also one of the few cats that actually like water and are strong swimmers. Like many animals, they mark their large territories using urine to scent mark. They defend their area fiercely from other tigers who set foot upon their land. Here at Paradise Wildlife Park, you can actually watch these beautiful creatures whilst having a drink or bite to eat in the Tiger Tea Rooms, a unique perspective for adults and children alike. The park also offers a unique experience to its guests, one of the most incredible of these being the opportunity to feed the big cats by hand. These animals are hand reared and so are used to human contact, but you wouldn't want to put your fingers through the bar and guests are given full instructions on safety first. What an incredible and unforgettable experience. That's it for me and all we have time for today. Next week, Callie will be coming back to you with more animal facts from some of the other residents of Paradise Wildlife Park. Wow.